everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on a modern hot rod. Tone, what? Tone, tone. What is a mo what is a modern hot rod? Like are hot rods old school cars, right? And I said, yeah, for sure. But some are modern hot rods. Why? Because they make a sound. They do stuff that regular cars don't do, and that's exactly what we're talking about here. If I owned this car as my only car to own, right? I would do exactly the way this was done, right? Where you do the performance upgrades, some wheel and tire, a couple cosmetic little things like that. You have a low mileage car that drives beautifully, right? But has way more zing under the hood. And when you hear this thing start and run, it is just fabulous, all right? All right, so we're gonna, uh, hopefully by now you've already read the menu of all the things that were done to the car. Uh, so I won't go over all of those uh, details. So we'll spend some more time talking about uh, the paint. We'll talk about uh, the wheel and tire, whether you would rather have the stock wheels and tires and uh, not do those, or you like to have both sets. We can discuss that as well. Um, and then we're gonna get inside to see the comfort. And uh, I don't know, man, we'll talk about all kinds of stuff. We're just gonna have a fun wrap and let's get it rolling. All right, so wrapped up in here, we're talking about uh, big disc brakes, four-wheel disc brakes, bigger wheels and tires, four-wheel fully independent suspension. You know, this car uh, started life as all GTOs, started life in Australia as a Holden. And I don't know why, I do know this. I do know that they say future collectibles, this is one of the ones they consider that, especially low mileage ones like this. Uh, I don't know why they discontinued it, but I guess once you once you move on from a brand, uh, that's it. But these are great. You go to a car show, people love these cars. They are fascinated by them. They are fast. They're comfortable. They're all of the above. And uh, this right here, this is a metallic black paint. It looks really nice on the lights here. I like to kind of do the paint test as well because it's important to be able to see a, a, a video and the video tells the truth of the paint and here we're able to see how crystal clear all the letters are nice and tight you can read every letter like it's supposed to not that you can see the letters but you can actually read each one crisp the crisper the letter the better the paint all right so let's take a peek under here to see where all the rumble is about all right all right, so in here we have a nice all aluminum block and heads, upgraded heads, camshaft, uh, intake manifold that was ported, like all kinds of hot rod stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, that was all done internally, right? And when you hear it, you're like, wow, that sounds amazing. And it's because it does sound amazing and it goes amazing. It has significantly more power than stock. But I love this, the fact that if you went to a car show, everything looks very original under here. A lot of stuff for me is important when I'm buying a car. I like to see some of the original decals and stickers in place because then I know that these panels haven't been replaced, uh, you know, as in it's been in an accident, right? So here we have our original uh, build tag here, which is kind of cool. They don't normally do this on American cars. But they do this here uh, in Australian versions. So you get this and it's really nice to get. These original decals here, some of them you can't buy anymore. Engine compartment is super clean. I mean, it's a, it's a low mileage show car. Basically, that's what we have here. A low mileage show car that you go to Cars and Coffee in. You could take it to work if you wanted to. You could go away for the weekend uh, in this fast, uh, high-speed highway car. And it is just a lot, a lot of fun. All right, so the styling of these cars is great. I love the stacked uh, lights here, the rear wing, uh, the flow of the glass, the backlight there. This bumper is great. I mean, this whole look is good. This upgraded exhaust system, you can see the tips and the exhaust themselves, much bigger. It might say 5.7, but this makes more horsepower than the 6.0, which is uh, pretty impressive when you think about that. But this is also a car that was designed to be used, right? Like a set of golf clubs fits in the back of this trunk here. Bunch of luggage fits in the back of the trunk. You could go away for the weekend. You could enjoy some time uh, somewhere, high speed time, only at the speed limit, only at the speed limit, but high speed time. Maybe some acceleration, stuff like that. Anyway, um, and enjoy the sounds as you're rowing through the shifter with your Louis Vuitton bags in the back. Well, I don't know, maybe you're not gonna do that, but anyway, you know what I mean. You can use it, you can drive it, it sounds great, and it's so much fun. 
All right, so you're walking up to your mean machine. You know this thing is just nice looking. And then you're going to go get in because this is where you're going to spend most of your time and that's where we're going to spend some of our time as well. All right. I slid the seat back. I'm 6'1 and I can't push the clutch pedal down. I spring that up because this is a lot of room in a car, right? So you can actually carry people in the back if I was to push the seat to where I wanted. Not to mention, what a great dash. If you guys haven't seen the dash of this thing, red gauges, a la like some Ferraris and things like that that we've seen. Really nice, it's showing 15,017 miles on it. Upgraded audio system, upgraded drivetrain at six speed. Nice shifter, super nice shifter. This is an upgraded shifter as well, by the way. Just clicks right into gear. Whew, I get excited when I talk about this stuff. 200 mile an hour speedometer, man, come on, come on. 7,000 RPM tack and great seats. I mean, look at the bolster support, nice leather, the mats are brand new, the dash is like flawless. Everything in this car is like getting a brand new car. All the hard work's been done. All you gotta do is get in and go for a drive. All right, so we close up this video. We were talking about not a lot of these cars built and not a lot left with super low miles like this. We're talking about a car that's been driven like around 800 miles a year. 800 miles a year, not 8,000 miles a year. 8,000 miles a year would still be a low mileage car. This is driven around 800 miles a year with 15,000 original miles on it. It is a real piece of art collector car with an upgraded drivetrain that sounds fabulous, goes well, does all the things it's supposed to do, bigger wheels and tires to stop well, big brakes, as you know, independent suspension, that shifter in your hand, upgraded audio system, and it goes on and on and on. This is a super, super fun car. I hope you find a way to get it in your garage. Anyway, call us, 301. 816-1000. We'll tell you all about this GTO. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. That helps get our message out. I really appreciate that. Share it with your friends. They might like it as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're throwing out new content all the time. All right. And I'll see you on the next one.